All right, guys, it's May 22, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Getting a little bit late start, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so today, Diego's going to be coming out and helping me. We're going to um, to put a water drainage system, which is part of, you need to do this to meet code anyway. But we're going to be digging down to the bottom of the footer all the way this length and then this both ends and let it run out uh as roger says let it run wild so you just let it go out cover it up we'll be taking we'll dig down there lay some of this gravel extra gravel we have all the way around then lay the pipe on it and then lay some more gravel on it and then cover it in a cloth I may just get to the point of just laying the pipe or the gravel and then the pipe and I'll put the other gravel and the cloth on it later and then we'll be backfilling here as well. Um, the other thing I could possibly be doing today if it doesn't need both of us doing this because this is not too much it just depends on how hard it's going to be to dig I don't know. Diego might be able to just do this on his own and if so I'm going to start sanding all this and making it more presentable. Uh, I had to order the waterproofing stuff. They didn't carry it in stock, and that's not going to get here until next week. So it's not a super big rush or hurry, but it's something I can be doing right now. So that's the two different jobs we're going to focus on today. All right, guys, thought I'd take a second here and show you what Diego did. Diego wasn't feeling well, so he went home. Anyway, he did, dug all the way down this on that end and started on this end. And I am sanding with this and a lot of it turned out great like this area. But then you get stuff like this and it does not. And I'm not quite sure what to do. Valia wants to do some kind of a cement cover over the whole thing and I don't know anything about that and I really don't want to add on some major job so we'll see um, I might just sit here and sand all day on this and see if I can get it to come down even I've done this in and I've done to down here where the hammer is <clears throat> it looks a little better on this side but there's a lot of spots it's just not getting I mean it doesn't take that thick stuff way down so I do have this and I have um, 60 grit they didn't have 40 grit these pads they're not reusable if you're using them on masonry they're, they're probably designed for wood luckily there's 50 discs but after a two amp hour battery they get down to looking something like this so i don't know i'm gonna keep on going i'm gonna go ahead and do a one once around and then see how i feel about just tackling one little spot and sand and sand and sand and sand and see if i can come up with some solution that works all right back to work That's what I'm doing. That's kind of procedure. Just a quick, see this is thick. I need to go over that a lot. This smooths a lot of it straight up. So we're gonna just keep plugging it away. If it's not a super hard job, it's just time consuming. As you can see it doesn't do that great of a job overall and I I'm doing it really fast right now I'm just going quickly over it so then I can go back with the attitude of being slow and really focusing on it uh, a couple things I'm considering is belt sander 
or an attachment for my drill that is like a metal brush or a scrub thing. I just don't want to scratch up things and put streaks in it and I don't uh, want to rip out all the grouting. So um, I really like the idea of the sander because it smooths over and it looks good when it looks when it's when it's good. Um, I don't know. We'll keep trying. Keep on seeing what we can do here. This is also the side that Diego did. So we're ready for our drain pipes almost. I think I fi figured out how to do this. Um, I just put a lot of extra work into this little spot and it got a lot cleaner. Um, I'm gonna have to come back probably in two days. I don't know. I had to order some more stuff. So stuff won't come in until tomorrow, but I don't know what time. I ordered the sander and oscillating tool came with it. Never used one before. I've seen things like people really like them and stuff, but I've never used one. And I already destroyed the blade on it. Because it's not made for masonry, but I still wanted to just see um, what it would do. And what it does is it, it chips that stuff off. All the masonry stuff, all the mortar. Chipped it off like a, ch like a charm. But those aren't, that's not a masonry blade. So I got four more blades. And then I bought these at Home Depot yesterday. These are 60 grit. And um, they didn't have 40 grit. And I, I just now went on Amazon and they have 40 grit. So that should be a little, a little bit rougher as well. So I ordered that. Got a couple of things that can come tomorrow sometime. And we can get back on this again. So that's exciting to me. Uh, if I can get it cleaned up, it's going to be a lot of work. But the rubber painting coating stuff that's supposed to waterproof this that I ordered from Home Depot is so out of stock that it's not coming until next Wednesday. So that gives me, starting tomorrow, a week to get all that done. So not a problem. <laughs> that stuff comes in. I'm ready to get that all done. So yeah, that one spot over there, I think it looks pretty good. I asked Valia, she said she was happy with that. So we'll, we'll get this fixed. All right guys, a little after four o'clock, just getting home, wrapping it up for the day, I'm done. <clears throat> I'll see you guys the next time I'm out. Good morning everyone, it is May 25, uh, Saturday, almost nine o'clock in the morning. I missed the last couple of days out here. Uh, one day I didn't have the tools hadn't come in yet from delivery that I needed. And yesterday was really cool. We had friends from uh, our old restaurant, used to be customers, come visit us for the day. So that was cool to see them and hang out for a while. Now I'm back out here at it. I got me uh, a little bit better sandpaper went from 60 grit now down to 40 grit so that's exciting i bought this this is unrelated but um i'm gonna see about sharpening my rotary blades someday when i go to when i have time and when i go to mow and then these are for the oscillating tool and these ones are actually made for the masonry part of that so i'm interested to see how it all goes how fast i can get it going and uh, hopefully we can get a good portion of the wall done today so that's the plan let's get after it all right guys my battery went dead while i'm doing this work down here i came up here to change out my battery one of these because it got went dead and i need to charge it and this guy was up here.
he seems very docile and if I'm not mistaken I'm not sure I need to do my research but we've seen a few of these around and I've been told they're rat snakes we're called a rat snake I don't know if that's like an unofficial term or what all right guys this end I think I need to go over just a tiny bit more because I was learning on this end and now I've gotten this whole side done Kind of hoping it'll rain once before it rained last night and i didn't know that happened until i got here i uh, hope it rains maybe one time before wednesday that way it kind of cleans things up on there uh, so i still have this whole end to do and this whole side to do so almost halfway done or about halfway done Thought I'd show you my method of how I'm doing this now. All right, I got this guy here, and I got a diamond blade. And I'm using it probably in a way that's not it's not intended for. This is just where I landed for now because it's working. And I don't have to do the whole brick, you know. It's That's all I got. That's how I do that. And then what I do is now I have that new sandpaper. Um, went down to 40 grit, was able to get 40 grit. That's what I've been doing the whole way. It's so slow going. Uh, but I, I'll go back over it like a couple times and touch it up a little bit. But it's, uh, it's a slow system, but it's working. So I'm gonna just keep on going at it. And uh, my goal is, I mean, I would love to get this end done today. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I got some thick stuff here, lots of lots to do on this end. Um, it'd be great if I could get to this corner here though that way tomorrow I'll just have this side it's always good to feel like you're over halfway done before you start and then I've got kind of these cracks and I've got some spots that uh, pieces have fallen out and I have a half bag of mortar so I'll go back through and fill that in and uh, in a day or two whenever that'll be the final thing and uh, tie it all together all right, back to work. All right, I showed you down that other end on this side, and I finally finished this end. I think it looks pretty good. It's never going to be perfect, but it turned out pretty decent. And uh, <clears throat> once we paint it with the white waterproof paint, it's like a rubberized thing. I think it should even it out pretty nicely. And I also did down there on that little corner just so I could say I have less than a side to do. It's my psycho psychological trick to myself. So yeah, that's all I gotta do tomorrow. Uh, finish that up. And uh, I need to chip all this stuff off along the bottom. I've been doing it all the way around. Diego did a couple, little bit the other day and I did some today. Um, I didn't think it was a big deal and we could leave it, but it has to come off so that I can paint 
down there in the seams and have that waterproofed. And just cleaning up along the bottom too that's in the way of the sander and the other things. So anyway, that's what it is. And uh, I'll let you guys go for now. I should be back out here tomorrow. That's the plan. So I'll see you when the next time I'm out here.